Hi, today I'm gonna to walk you through rebuilding one of our commercial control valves. I'm using a one inch high flow valve, but this would be the same procedure if it was an inch and a quarter or inch and a half valve as well. Start by removing the cover. And before we start taking anything apart, we wanna make sure to put it into bypass and then cycle it to backwash to take pressure off of it. You can do this in the Legacy View app or just by pressing and holding the set change button on the circuit board. Once we're in the backwash position, you can safely disconnect power from the control valve and unplug the battery. Now you'll want to take the circuit board off and disconnect the meter cable and also the power supply. After you do that, you can put the circuit board back on and we're going to remove this front cover and then remove the circuit board mount plate and the two cables that you disconnected from the power supply and the motor will need to be fished through. Now we're ready to remove the screws that hold the back plate onto the valve body. Now before we remove this back plate, you'll also need to disconnect the meter cable. from this connector that runs between the back plate and the meter. We can now remove the back plate and the piston is going to come out with it. So this is the main piston and then if it's a softener, you'll have this brine piston as well, which just snaps onto the bottom like that. And the seal stack just comes out all in one piece. If you're replacing the seal stack, you'll want to put some silicone lubricant on all of the O-rings. You want to make sure not to use anything petroleum based, uh, make sure to use a food grade silicone. And when you're replacing it, just put it back in. And this is keyed, so you'll need to turn it until it clicks into place. And you'll know it's in the right spot when it doesn't twist anymore. We can then put the piston back in and replace the screws. So when tightening the screws, just make sure to go in a star pattern alternate and you want to make sure, if you look at it from the back, that the back plate is flush with the valve body. So go ahead and reconnect your meter assembly. And when you put the circuit board mount plate back on, you're going to put the meter cable through this top hole and then the power cord goes through here. Go ahead and snap it into place onto the back plate and then you can reconnect those connections to the circuit board. The meter goes here where it says water meter and the power goes where it says 12 volt DC power. This goes on next, it just snaps into place on either side. Before you put the cover on, if you're using a battery, make sure to reconnect the nine volt battery and plug it back in. And we're still in the backwash position, so I'm going to go ahead and slowly turn the inlet valve and then turn the outlet valve. And you can let it go through a cycle from here or cycle it through the steps back to home. 